Hey there, game makers, and welcome back to the third of well, making a tower defense game in Game Maker. So in this series, we're gonna kind of complete it here, and what we're gonna do is placing houses with a mouse click. So, and then of course, we don't allow to place those things on the well on this specific tile layer if it's something there. So basically, if the information of the tile set says like, hey, it's not zero, because zero is everything else. And then we just click on here and then we can just place, I don't know, as many houses as we want. And of course, we would like to snap it to a grid. So this is how that works out. So if you want to join me on this, uh, that, I guess it will be 15 minute tutorial, then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel of course. Alrighty, so how does that pan out? Kind of easy. So first of all, we need to establish that we have kind of a grid and on that. So basically we're just taking the mouse and then we are snapping the mouse to a grid, which is now here 16 by 16. So it's kind of doing that. And then um, we are replacing the, the initial sprite of the house with well, this thing here, if we are on spaces which are occupied or for example, if we are uh, already having a house there, then we cannot place it anywhere there. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing is we, of course, need a thing which we call uh, object place house. Give it a neat little initial sprite. So here our house. And then we are placing that dude not the sprite, but the place house here, there. And then a few things. First of all, we uh, want to have it be a little bit transparent. So it's kind of a visual representation that you are previewing it. So image alpha is, let's say 0 0.5. So it's technically not really there. And then uh, another thing is we want in our step event to place it where the mouse is. So X is um, mouse X, here we go. And then the same we do for our Y. But of course, if we just do it like this, then it would be free flowing everywhere where the mouse is. This is not what we want. We want to snap it to those nice little grids here. So here on this layer, hopefully you can see those panels. And then of course, uh, so as you can see, so it kind of snaps like here. Okay, so how do we do that? Kind of easy. We use and abuse Mr. Modulo, which is basically a function which is just giving you the rest. So here, the mouse would be a, a relative value on well on the screen. So here, actually you can check it out here before on the left bottom corner. So this value is where our mouse is. But of course, if we do Modulo, we are subtracting the rest value because this is what modulo is doing so basically let's say you have a number which is 18 then you are dividing it by 16 and then the rest value is 2 or you got 558 and then you just divide it so many times by 16 until you got a value which is below 16 this is then the rest value. so rest value can be between 0 to 15 so these are the rest values and then you subtract them here. That's how that whole thing works. And of course we can do that for the Y value also. So for example, if you were doing computer science and you thought like Modulo, what a worthless thing to, well, <laughs> to teach us, that's actually pretty good. So let's check it out. And as you can see, working pretty sweet. So this is already snapping to a grid. It's not, uh, it's actually working pretty fine so that this is what we wanted to have. And then the next thing which we want to do is, well, place the house where uh, we are and then uh, on this specific spot. So we're just checking and saying like, hey, sweet, let's actually uh, check for our mouse button released. So for example, our, our left mouse button. And then we're just checking like, hey, sweet, have we actually pressed this mouse button? If it's one or true, then we just say like, sweet. We create an instance, so instance, oh, no, create layer. 
and then of course on our x and y because this is getting updated to the specific position where we want to have it and then layer and then what well our house that's actually pretty much it for this part so let's check this out as you can see easy peasy code and then we're pressing the left mouse button and our house is there and our house is there and there and there and there sweet Alrighty, and then of course maybe you want to uh, be a little bit more specific so we just say like hey let's give it some random value this is of course optional image index is equal to uh, e random range between zero and image number so basically this is just giving a random sprite why is that well because we got different kind of houses so we're just going between 0 to 11 and this is of course a little bit misleading if it just says 12 but it starts with 0 and here it's with 1 so eh. <laughs> not so good so therefore we just assign uh, this thing and of course we want to pass that into the new house so house and then the houses image index is the same as our which we do here and of course we maybe want to say like hey sweet after we created the house let's give it a new one and then why not and then we just say like hey sweet give it a new one so let's see that in action so let's say we got this house and then this one and this one and this one and as you can see our preview is the same oh, in quotations our preview is the same as the one which we are face planting or creating on the whole area here and then we come to a second part which is a little bit more clunky so i'm gonna rush through it very 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 quickly so first of all we need to check if there is already a house in there i'm just going to copy paste it so hopefully you can follow me on this thing so we're just checking like hey is there already another house where we are so we just say like x and y so let's say you don't have to go with plus values but this is just for me so we are not uh, on this specific spot on the but here a little bit more in the center it doesn't really matter but uh, for computation why not and then we're just checking like hey on this point is there already an object house if yes then we have a variable which we called can place is false so we just set it to false true it doesn't really matter because at the very beginning we set it all the time to true so it always resets and then the first tech check will be like hey can we place it and then is there another house if it's uh, not no one so basically we get an instance back like, and then we just like oh uh, not a good idea we cannot place it and of course we want to have that condition in our uh, mouse check and can place is true so basically we're just saying like hey have we pressed it and it is actually possible so if those two conditions are met sweet let's create a new house and then a second one this is kind of convoluted so i'm going to copy paste it also that's our second check here first of all we need to uh, grab the thing where our well road is and this is just here on my tile set road and uh no 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 and as you can see only this one is occupied here and what we're going to do is check if we have on our tiles zero assigned so let's make this a little bit bigger so basically we got nothing assigned then we can place but if we get any other number because we are returning a number of the tile which we are on on this mouse uh, mouse position if any of the other ones we are having then we say like nope it's occupied there is already kind of a tile assigned so visually and then eh, we cannot use it this is how that works out so basically um first of all we're grabbing the layer id of tiles roads then we are grabbing from uh, on this specific layer this specific tile set then we are grabbing at this specific position on this layer on this tile set 
on this mouse position yeah i know it's 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 a mouthful sorry for that we are grabbing the values of mx and my and then with those kind of informations we are grabbing tile map get and this is what i showed you if we do this then we are just checking out hey on our mouse position so we are just let's say hovering over here then it's saying like hey what is there one of those tiles set uh, tiles assigned and then it will re return well this one here and then for example if the data is let's say unequals to zero then we cannot place it so basically we got two times where it's just saying like hey is there a house if yes you cannot place it is there a tile assigned to it you cannot place it and then um it does that here and of course we want to have a little check so if can place is equals to true so we can actually place it then our sprite index mm -hmm, index is to our house so basically we can place it else mm, not so much and then we just say like hey we get this can't place sprite assigned so actually let's check this out and as you can see this is already visually very pleasing with the white background so as you can see left mouse button can place it can place it and instantly you see aha uh -huh, i cannot place new ones here cannot place here and cannot place here and this is how the whole spiel works hopefully not too fast but once again a uh, whole project uh, for the use and abuse uh in the description box so you can actually check it out and download it for free and so on already then we are pretty much finished with this project uh, as a whole have a good one one up indeed